the artist. So today is our last day to finish up our clay folds. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up that bag that has been keeping your clay nice and wet because the air wants to dry it out. And you want to take out your clay that's in your bag. Open up your saran wrap. And my artist, you're going to carefully tilt the bowl with your hand on the clay to get your coil bottom out. Now, the thing is, artist, is we're doing it this time. I didn't have you do it last time because even though we put out all, we got all the air out of our bowls, our bowls should still be a little drier than how we left them because it's been a while and obviously it's really hard to completely get a place void of air. So that's good. That's good because now we can kind of hold it and you're going to smooth out a little section of your bowl enough to write your name. I'm going to do the bottom coil. Be careful not to press too hard. Be gentle with your clay because we don't want it to break. We worked so hard on this last class. You did such a good job. And I'm going to write my first name and my last name, and you will do the same thing with a pencil at your table. Make sure you write it carefully on your clay because you do not want it to be difficult to read. If you need help with this, please let me know. After that, you're going to lay it back down into your bowl. And today we're going to start building up the walls of our clay bowl so we can get out our clay and we can start making those coils. Take a little piece of your clay off and please leave the rest of your clay in the baggie. Roll it up. That way it will not dry out. And when we're out of this clay, we can have fresh, wet clay later on. Remember, when you roll out your coils, you might want to squish it out into a cylinder shape like a log. And then you're going to roll with your two hands to get longer and longer. Remember, it does not matter how necessarily long your coils are. You can always make more coils. It just matters how thick your coil is so we can have an evenly thick bowl. So we're about the size of your pinky or your pointer finger, like the size of a small marker. Because some of us, we <laughs> remember last time we decided, oh, maybe our pinkies were a little too small. So we can use our pointer finger instead. You can do different designs for the sides. Your bolster should just fill up the sides of your wall. And then we will add one coil hug around our whole bowl at the top. I think I'm going to start with folds. When I do folds, I just bend my clay into itself, kind of like a U, and then I do it in the other direction on the other side, and I keep going and going, and I'll eventually get a design. So artists, I like to have a symmetrical bowl. You don't have to do that, but when I say symmetrical, I mean I want it the same on each side. So I'm mirroring whatever I have on one side onto the other side. As you notice, I have little spaces here. Please do not overlap your coils on top of each other, so one over the next, because you're going to have evenly thick holes, so you're going to have to make something that fits in there perfectly, like a key to a lock or a puzzle piece. When you have all your coils against your wall, you're going to do one coil to go on top of all your other coils like a big hug. We're going to do this because we want even bowl at the top. So what that I mean by that is we want all sides to be the same level, the same height. We don't want a warped, a wavy top to bowl. So I'm going to make one coil to wrap around at the top. Now artists, I'm going to fill up those little holes and spaces in between like I did on the bottom. I'm going to use the little peas shaped sphere balls. Uh, 
very nice when you shift it over and you fill up all those gaps. And then I raise up my hand and I'm gonna bring you a fork. Now, that might seem a little odd, but forks are a great tool because we're gonna be smoothing out our sides. And you'll notice that it's a little hard to push against the sides, but it'll make it easier if you have your other hand to support and hold against the wall of the bowl as you smooth. But we're going to score, we're gonna make little marks, hatched marks into our clay, and that'll be easy, make it easier to smooth it out. First, when you push your fork into your clay, you also don't wanna to push too hard because you don't wanna go through the clay. You just wanna go enough into the clay to scrape it up. Just a little bit. So you start to not see the design as much. And I'm holding the bowl with this hand and I'm not going too fast because these forks are not um, the softest of things. They're a little sharp. So I understand it's just a fork, but I still would like you to be careful about this. And when it's all scratched up, then you can go in with your finger and it will smooth out so much easier. Again, make sure not to go in too deep. And my artist, if it seems like your clay is getting a little crazy, that's okay. You can do it. It will work. Trust me. All right, artist, and your bowl's all smoothed out, and you have all those crevices filled up nicely make sure you look around and you make sure you cover all those right up we're actually going to leave our bowls out today and we are going to let them dry show me a quiet hand when you are done and i will tell you your next steps of how we're going to put them away but so far artists this is done and it's ready to dry out and go into the kiln and next time i see you we will be glazing these beautiful bowls